doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, William Trainer, the CEO of Grand West Transportation. How are you doing today, William? Uh, we're, we're doing well. We're quite excited. Uh, we've got lots of uh, news coming out and lots of uh, current news we just had. It's, it's, it's great. Yeah, and let's talk about the news. So yesterday you had some big news, ABC companies, and then today you had some big news about opening up in New Mexico. Let's start off with the ABC companies news. What does that mean for Grand West Transportation? Well, Rich, you've been interviewing me for a, a while here. Uh, you know, we've been stating that we're going to have some strength in our sales initiatives in, in the U.S. And th this is where the ABC group comes in. They're, they're a pretty uh, massive powerhouse. Uh, they have over $500 million in sales per year in bus, the bus industry. Uh, they're a very well organized uh, uh, company. Their their um, core uh, you know their, their their core beliefs will line up really good with us. You know, you, we want to sell buses, but we also got to look after the customer and, and get that repeat business. And that's uh, that's where this company really shines. Um, if you were to look them up and check them out on their website, you'll see uh, the locations that they have. This here, this is key for us because, as everybody knows, uh, in the EV EV business, California is really leading the, the, the big push into the EVs. Um, the ABC Group has three uh, pretty large locations, mega locations in California, so they're set up to really take some of that business on and look after uh, look after the customer base uh, for us. And what about the news that came out today? huge news about you now looking to do business in New Mexico. Can you talk about that news today? It seems like that's another huge potential partnership and rollout. Yeah, well, what happens uh, on a lot of the tenders that we bid uh, in the U.S., they're called a menu bid. So what happens is you have to get qualified on the state level in order to sell to the transit authorities in that state. Usually there's some uh, um, uh, joint communication between the states and usually you can sell to some neighboring states as well. But this one's big because we were qualified to sell to the transit uh, agencies uh, in the state of uh, New Mexico uh, with our product. Um, it all helps. Uh, you know, now the sales team's got to get in there and, and start chain or closing these uh, this order into uh, actual uh, purchase orders. Uh, we've had a lot of expressed interest in the state of New Mexico. So we expect to uh, get our fair share of the uh, bus sales. Now, I had a question about your Washington location. I know that the Washington location can do a thousand units. Is that location ready? Are they, are they being built right now? Are buses being built in Washington or is it in the process of being ready? Yeah, no, we are in the process of having uh, the factory built in Washington state for us. Uh, we're hoping to have it completed by Q3 of this year and okay. tool up and be ready for production in Q4. And yes, it does have the capacity of about a thousand buses per year. Which is pretty wild because I know we're anticipating about 50 million in sales with about a hundred buses uh, by Q2 2021. So when you do the math, the simple math on that, if, if you were doing a thousand units, that's in the neighborhood of $500 million. So that is a huge amount of growth and on board with sales with them in Q3, because that's going to be a huge surge of new potential business for the company. Is there anything else coming along the pipeline that you can talk about? Anything new that you guys are working on that you can discuss? Well, we're, we're always, uh, uh, you know, working on the sales pipeline. That's, that's number one. We, you know, we've got a fairly good backlog right now. We need to keep increasing that backlog uh, to continue the sales momentum that, that uh, we have. But uh, no, there's, uh, you, you know, there's tenders out, outstanding as we speak. Um, you know, we news release them as we close them. Uh, so you should see some, some pretty good uh, activity coming up. You know, it, it's, uh, California, there's a very large tender outstanding in California as we speak. And for the mid-sized buses, it's up to 8,000 buses over a five-year period. So it's wow. a pretty significant uh, uh, you know, potential that we're, we're working on right now. Wow, that's huge. Now, as far as revenue is concerned, the 50 million in revenue off the 100 buses, when would you expect to see that on the company's balance sheet? Would that be in Q3 or Q4 of 2021? 
No, no, we'll, uh, we should see that, you know, we're delivering, uh, delivering buses every day out of, out of our location here. Um, that, that will transpire into, uh, into revenue. We'll have uh, revenue for Q1, we'll have revenue for Q2, you know, we've stated what they are. Um, you just have to watch the uh, uh, watch as we uh, close the quarters off. Very good. So that means for investors, we're going to be able to see some of those revenues start to really show up on the balance sheet. So that's pretty exciting. And if there was one thing you would want investors to know that are watching this video, watching the stock, watching the story unfold, watching the news, what would it be? Well, you know, as we've been stating, you know, we're, we're, our direction is to get uplisted onto the NASDAQ. Um, you know, I think that's a major milestone for us. You know, we've uh, we've got a good customer or a good investor base here in Canada, but really, you know, our story is is U.S. based. You know, putting a factory down in Washington, getting the order book in, getting the orders built up in in uh, in the U.S. Uh, market, and having that uh, opportunity to uh, um, get our awareness out to the U.S. investors with our NASDAQ listing, I think that's that's a pretty major milestone that's coming up. Absolutely. When I speak to our community, bus is one of their favorite stocks. I, I get a lot of people from all over the world talking to me about bus and people are very excited about this company. A lot of them feel like this is a $10 stock. It's a future $10 stock. I'm hearing this from everybody. The, the future looks really bright for bus. And even though bus has, when we started talking about it, gone from around $1.80 when we first started looking at bus, been as high as $4.50, and it's come back down and consolidated today, a little bit under $3. And a lot of our community started to buy it and pick it up because it was the lowest we've seen in, in, a, in a short period of time. Even though it's trading at around this $3 range, a lot of our community and investors that are watching Rich TV Live believe that this is a future $5 or $10 stock. Because when you compare it to a lot of other electric vehicle stocks, a lot, a lot of other electric vehicle companies, they're trading at $10 or more. If you look at where we're at, um, you know, we're, we consider ourselves, we've got the infrastructure in place, uh, the management in place to really grow this business. And that, that's what we're focused on. You know, I've stated it many times, you know, I see us uh, in five years being a billion dollars in revenue and that's, that's our direction. Well, William, thank you so much for your time. Continue all your unbelievable work with Grand West Transportation. Congratulations on all your success so far. Two huge pieces of news this week. And guys, remember, if you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Consult a financial advisor. Chances are the financial advisor is going to say, wow, these are really good picks. I'm a big fan of BUS, have been since day one. Symbol is BUS in Canada, BUS XF in America, and 6LG in Frankfurt, Germany. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. We're proud to say that we were one of the first companies on YouTube to talk about bus. And now it seems that everyone's talking about bus. It's one of the most talked about electric vehicle, small cap stocks out there. And my opinion is that it, this is a story that's just getting started. Thank you.